Amen. Somebody give God a hand clap. Somebody praise God like, like they love him. Has God been new to anybody in the house on this morning? I'm going to say that one more time because the response seemed a little weak. Has God been good to anybody in the house? Yes, Lord. Somebody up to get God up. He didn't have to do it. But he did. opportunity to come and share uh, the word of God before each and every one of you. Yes. Everybody in their respectable places. Mm -hmm. Amen. We just thank God that should cover everybody. Yes. Amen. 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 Down to the musician. Hallelujah. Amen. To God be all the glory. Amen. We thank God for the opportunity to stand before you yet once again. Yes. And before moving on, amen, into the word as my wife alluded to earlier. Amen. Uh, when it's uh, something that is burning deep down on the inside as the sun is say down in your bowel yeah. you got to get it up off of you yeah. somebody is standing in the need of a word yeah. now, I don't know about you, you or you or why you came uh -huh. amen. but I don't need the verse no I do both uh -huh. but I came amen to give a word from old high yeah. this is not Preston amen this is the Holy Ghost Amen. To God be all the glory. Yes. Give an honor to my wife for that lovely introduction. Amen. I thank God for my wife. I love her. You're looking good this morning too, girl. Right. Yeah. Go ahead. Throw my kudos out there too now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because uh, that's a very, very honorable woman of God and I thank God for her. Amen. To God be all the glory. The Bible says in Proverbs 18 and 22, whosoever find of a wife, find of a good thing. But watch this, watch this deep. But he's saying though, when you find her, watch this, uh -huh. and if she can obey you, uh -huh. if you live like the word says, uh -huh. God says you shall obtain favor uh -huh. from the Lord. Uh -huh. Can I get a witness in here this morning? Y'all feel like having church this morning. Uh -huh. Now I ain't coming to preach to folk that just want to sit down. Uh -huh. Because see, when I give you this word, you ought to be able to stand and give God glory for what God has done for you. Because if you would have put some trust in man, man would have let you down. But I heard the Bible say, I know a God that sits high and he looks low and he knows all things. So when you go to God, you won't have to worry about hearing it again. Amen. Amen. Somebody give God a hand clap. And verse 26. Mm -hmm. Genesis chapter 32 and verse number 26. 
And I'm going to be reading in your hearing verse, uh, excuse me, verse 24 through 26. And I know it's a very familiar passage of scripture. Amen. I hear some pages turning and we're trying to wait to make sure everybody gets there. And if you can, amen, it would be an honor for you to stand, amen, as we read God's holy word. Amen. amen. To God be all the good. Yes. Honoring the written word of God. Verse 24 reads, Then Jacob was left alone. Mm -hmm. And a man wrestled with him until the breaking of day. And verse 25, now when he saw that he did not prevail against him, he touched the socket of his hip. And the socket of Jacob's hip was out of joint as he wrestled with him. The 26th and the final verse. And he said, let me go for the day breaks. But he said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. You may sit down, amen, in the presence of the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Somebody look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. neighbor. Say, oh neighbor. Oh, neighbor. Just, hold on. Just hold on. Change, Change. is on the way. On the way. Yes. Can somebody give God a hand to pray? Is on the way. Oh, thank the Lord. Whatever you may find yourself in a situation mm -hmm. that is predicated on the uncomfortable on the uncomfortableness of your circumstance, wow. it requires a level of change yes. because in your present predicament is very uncomfortable. So, in order to get what it is that you need from God, uh -huh. my dear Lord. The Lord has allowed the Holy Ghost to come in and change your situation. Can I get a witness in here? Well, if I can start here, mm -hmm. change in the Greek is metanoia. It means turn, turn toward the light or change the mind in, 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 in retrospect, repentance. Alone. 
And he began to pray unto the Lord. You have to be careful what you pray for. Because of everything that you pray for, you just might get it. But watch this. But when you get it, will you be able to handle that which God has given you? The Bible declares to it, it talks about to whom much is given, much is required. Now, if Job was going to be mad at you, you ought to give him something to be mad about. When you're living for the Lord, come on, somebody. And you can depend on God. You don't have to depend on folk. Can I get a witness in here? met an individual. And the individual came before Jacob. And the Bible says it was an incarnated individual uh -huh. of human substance. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now, it's one thing when you pray a prayer unto the Lord uh -huh. and God is dealing with the prayer. Uh -huh. But it's another thing that when he leaves heaven <laughs> and he comes into the earth realm uh -huh. and he comes exactly where you are. And you have a face-to-face -face confrontation with an angelic being. Can I get a witness in here? I'm trying not to get too deep. But I want to paint the picture clear. Every now and then, God will leave heaven. And God will come to the earth ring. When enough prayer and supplication go before the throne, God said, you know what? I can't trust you to go down again. Uh -huh. no. I can't trust y'all to handle this. Yeah. Well, so I got to leave heaven yeah. and the 24 angels that uh -huh. I need to go down yeah. and see about them Whoa. for my sake. Yeah. Can I get a witness in here? Yeah. It's something about God. Uh -huh. yeah. And Jacob uh -huh. began to wrestle with the angels. Yes. Have you ever in your life had a situation that you had to wrestle with because you were scared you were going to make the wrong decision? Oh, I'm, I'm going to roll the pants leg up now because it's about to get deep up in here. Have you ever had a situation where the crowd said no, but God said yes. Y'all yeah. quiet in here. I might be the only one. Yeah. Have you ever had a situation yeah. where everybody else said that ain't gonna work? Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, I didn't hear God say that. I don't believe God said that to you. Well, hold on, pump your brakes. The last time I checked. This is an individual thing. Yes, and I can go to the Lord for my sake. Yes, can I get a witness yes, in here? Yes, but I heard the Bible say, faith is the substance of things hoped for uh -huh. and the evidence of things that are not seen. Yes, I can't put my trust in you yes, because your relationship to God may not be like my relationship yes, to God. Yes, when I lay in the bed at night, and tears flowing from my eye. Uh -huh. I can't put my trust yes. in somebody else. And the folk that want to give you all this information and uh -huh. all this knowledge won't even come to church, but they have the audacity to try to tell you how you are to do. Yeah. Can I get a witness in here? We look around and we ask ourselves, Lord, what is it that you would have me to do? Uh oh, here we go. Yeah. In the slow roll now. Step into it. When you say, Lord, what it is that you would have me to do, you have to step outside of the crowd. Come on, somebody. And when you step outside the crowd, then you can follow the Lord. Watch this. Because if the, if the crowd won't accept Jesus, Jesus will separate you from the crowd. And God still going to get his glory out of a living individual. Can I get a witness in here? Yes, 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 yes. We want everything. We want the 
the blessing. We want the riches. We want the houses and the cars. We want the social status. Stay right there. Stay right there. But nobody wants to do what it takes in the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. When Jacob, he got there and he met that man. Come here, preacher. Yes, sir. And as you can see, this was a big man. <laughs> in stature. You look at him and you look at me. But I heard the Bible say that God has no respect for person. When he do for one, So he's wrestling with this man. Yes, sir. Watch this. Now, if you look at him, you would assume that he is more powerful than me. He can take me down, and he can almost take me out. Yes, but with the Holy Ghost, yeah. come see. And the Holy Ghost yeah. will give me power. Yeah. I say, give me power. Unspeakable power. that are sitting in the pulpit 
and live any kind of life. And they can live any kind of life and do whatever they want to do and the church members will go along with it. Come on, somebody. I ain't the only one in the house. I ain't the only one in the house. I ain't the only one in the house. I'm not the only one in the house. If, this, if a certain crowd come up, they gonna bow down. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. They gonna bow down. Why are they bowing down? Because they the one who signed the check that he supposed to get. But like I tell folk, and I tell it again, and I tell it to the Lord, take me home. How many folk will you find in a pastor in church and won't receive a dime? Talk to me, somebody. Talk to me, somebody. Done, done it. Yes. Been there and done that. Yes. So it's not about money. It's not about impressing folk. It's about doing the will of the Lord.
Don't want nobody else's money but my own. If it's your mama, 
and she'll tell you too, I'll call it like it is. My mother now will tell you, I'll call it like it is. I don't separate the word of God for no one. Amen. And that's why a lot of them dodge me. Because if they're wrong, they're going to go down the I don't walk around trying, trying to uh, uh, discredit anybody. Right. But if you bring it in my face, I'm going to tell you what the Lord says. But you know, a lot of people, well, that's my baby. And, 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 and she mean well, and she tried, and, 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 and God's still working with her. Hold now, pump your brakes now. How can God still be work, working on her for seven years on the same situation? And they, they ought to be delivering somewhere. Come on now. Because you can't, you can't keep doing the same thing happening. And I suppose the swallow it is. What we have to understand is this. We either need to be real right. or be still. Yeah. Go hard or go home. Right. In order to have something that you never had, yeah. you have to do something that you never yeah. done. Yeah. I was homeless years and years ago, sleeping in my building. And I prayed to God deep. And I said, Lord, if you would just come in, that same encounter Jacob had. I had off a Ramsey Street in a graveyard. Jesus. And the Lord came to me. And he told me the same thing I'm telling you. He said, just hold on. Watch this. Watch this. But the word hold on, that phrase, doesn't give a timetable. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Watch this, watch this. Watch this. Now, I was homeless then. But I have businesses now. If you do what God says do, and I don't care, I don't care. Hell, I want. You got to hold on to God's unchanging hand, because God's hand never changes. It remains the same. And we have your destiny to come up with excuses why are you acting the fool like you're acting the fool. Come on, somebody. But I'm here to tell you straight out the gate. Me personally, if it's wrong, it's wrong. I'll come to you very humble and let you know in a very nice way. I don't care what position, I don't care what title, I don't care who is who. But right is right, right, is right. and wrong is wrong. Yeah. The same way the deacons are holding me accountable, yeah. I get to hold them accountable too. The same way the church hold me accountable, I get to hold them accountable too. Because I refuse to go to bed at night and have any blood held to my hand. I know, I know my stuff is going in the trash now. <laughs> it's probably shred right now. <laughs> but that's all right. This assignment that God has applied to my hand, I have fulfilled that which God has given unto me. That if you hold fast to God's unchanging hand, the same way that God delivered and healed and blessed me, He said, I'll do the same for you. But when you hold up the blood stain back in order for God to come in and suck with you. Y'all give God a hand clap. <laughs> How many of y'all in here under the sound of my voice want a better life? How many of y'all don't want to live from income tax to income tax? Or paycheck to paycheck? I'm talking to some folk in here today. It starts with your relationship with God. Humble yourself. Seek his face. Turn from your wicked way. And he say, then. He say, then. But before he ain't said nothing. He said, but if you do that, then 
will I hear somebody know from heaven and I will heal come on somebody somebody better give God a hand clap of praise I'm going with the Lord calling me glory be unto the Lord change is coming I pulled up, preacher. I was I pulling up on your God gave me a revelation. Come on, sir. And the revelation is I was pulling up, we were pulling up. That you can see cars lying on both sides of the road. Just going down. And I said, Lord, what, what, what? He said, There are people who are tired of where they are. Jesus. Because they are really not getting what they need. He said, well, I need somebody yeah. that can cry loud and spell yeah. help out. And he said, I can trust you. Well, what do you I've already blessed you. I can trust you. Not trying to get tell all the witnesses this, but I got fellas sitting right over there. And the Bible said, what you have done to the least of them, you have also done unto me. Yeah. And when folk don't have family to come see you, when folk don't have stuff, to, to take care of their basic necessities. I can't and go do what needs to be done. Uh -huh. I don't do it for recognition. I don't do it to be boastful. I do it because it's right. I do it because God will allow me to do it. Can I get a witness in here? So, when we look at our walk in the law, what we ought to really be focusing on is this right here. Let me become a better me. That when guests and visitors walk through that door mm -hmm. and come in here, yeah. you'll be able to hear the unadulterated word of God. Yeah. Wouldn't you rather have the truth of somebody to blow smoke over you? You better give me a high five. <laughs> When folk go back out and the word gets around and you don't have room enough to receive, watch this. Are y'all ready for two services? I only got three over there and ain't nobody <laughs> there. So that goes to tell me, uh, now, if you really ready and asking God for what it is you're asking for God, you better be ready to do what needs to be done in order for it to be your feet. To God be all the glory. Yes. The Bible says in Galatians 5 and 1, it said, be steadfast there in the liberty by which Christ has made us free. Do not entangle yourself again with the yoke of bondage. Yes. It's time for change. It's time for the vision of the visionary who initially started this ministry for it to go into a direction yeah. that will fulfill the vision that he had. Yeah. Regardless of who you may elect to become the pastor. Yeah. But it's time to move forward. Yeah. Yeah. Watch this. Watch this. Yeah. Ain't no trash can in here. <laughs> But all that other stuff, all that yesterday garbage, yeah. you need to throw it in the trash can and throw it away. <laughs> Never to be remembered no more. Moving forward means exactly what it says. Moving forward. Yes. Yes. And when folk come up with all that, we ain't going to talk about that. Yes. We ain't going to even discuss that. Yes. We are in the present and we're moving forward. To God be all the glory. Y'all give God a hand clap. I told you, I'm not your traditional patty cake type preacher. I'm going to give it to you like God gave it to me. And when I'm done, when the Lord is done, I'm done. And this time, I pray that there, there was something said that would be able for you to take with you 
Change is coming to your situation. You need to be ready for when it comes. When it came to Jacob, the Bible said that the angel told Jacob, your name shall never be Jacob no more. Your name shall be Israel. Are you ready for the change in your life? Watch this. That God will get the glory out of your story. Come on, preacher. Come on, somebody. Y'all understand what I'm saying? There needs to be joy back in the church. There needs to be love back in the church. The Holy Ghost needs to be back in the church. Set things right need to be back in the church. All that foolishness needs to go outside the church. And I can promise you right now, as I stand before you today, my man got me on video. You can go back and look at it. <laughs> Don't come to me with no foolishness. There's too much work to be done in the kingdom of God to be dealing with foolishness. Jesus. Oh, it's quiet. Bless the name of Jesus. It's quiet in here. And my wife will tell you. I don't indulge in the things that that are not important, amen, to the kingdom of God. Amen. Don't have time for that. If you want change and you want to move, you need somebody in your life that can push you, propel you. Watch this. Because if he did it for me, why won't he he can do it for you? And, and if I can grab you by the hand and show you what you need to do as God has shown me to, and, and watch this, and then I promise I'm done. Folks say, well, how much, how much is it that you're looking for to pass the church? Let me tell you something right now. We're doing pretty good. Ain't begging nobody for nothing. Don't have to. Not bragging a post. Watch this. Well, when somebody come up and say, well, I, I can't pay my light bill. And the, and the pastor gets a salary. No, I'm going to tell you straight out the gate right now. My wife sit back and she'll take it. I'll take my salary and make sure that they get their light bill. Amen. I'm not stuck on money. Bless the name of Jesus. Folk. Going from pillar to pole. Uh-huh. But folk do need to know, learn how to manage their money also. Right. Let's not get it twisted. Yeah. I ain't finna get played neither now. <laughs> because see, then we're gonna sit down and we're gonna have a, in a class or we have a session on how you're budgeting your money. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> to God be the glory. Yeah. That need, that's a very important essential principle in scripture. You need to know how to manage your finances. You asking God for more and you can't even handle what you got. Thank you, Lord. At this time, let us stand. There's an invitation. There's we're going to extend. That if there be anybody under the sound of my voice. And you may not know the Lord, amen, in the pardoning of your sins. Amen. And you may say, well, that word touched me. And I want to come and I want to get to know him a little bit better. I want to give my life unto the Lord. Now watch this, and let me tell you, let me help you out. You will not come up here and dot every I and cross every T. You're still going to slip, trip, and fall. But when you slip, trip, and fall, don't lay there. Get up. Pick yourself up. Dust yourself up. And keep on coming to church but the invitation has been extended if there be anybody 
said, babe, you said, well, I, I, I want to give my life to the Lord. And I want the Lord to come in and be my personal Savior. You have the opportunity that you may come and you may give your life, amen, unto the Lord. That invitation has been extended, but there's another one. There's an invitation for the altar. And to be anybody that just wants to come for prayer. Or come and intercede for a loved one. Come. Let, let's pray. Let's pray. Not everybody there. Come on. And don't worry about who's standing beside you. Come. That you may receive this prayer from the Lord. That God will be able to help you right where you are. Agreement with 
the Holy Ghost. That it's already done. In the name of Jesus. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Son. In the name of the precious Holy Ghost. Believe it and receive it. Name it and claim it. In Jesus' holy name. Somebody ought to give God a hand like a prayer. Somebody ought to give God a hand like a prayer. stood in the crowd he spoke but the multitude could hear and there were other times when the multitude didn't really need to hear what was being said the bible said that you find the spirit by the spirit to see if it is of the law first John 4 and I can tell in my spirit that this young man he wanted to come but something was holding him back but I'm getting ready to pray with him individually Is sitting, standing in the need, but they are afraid they're gonna be judged by folk. I refuse right now, and I promise you, to pass to any church where anybody feel comes through that door and feel that they are not worthy, or they feel that they they gonna get talked about, or they feel like they can't come up and get what everybody else is giving. The devil is alive. The truth is.
may come, bring your membership in. But to God be the glory. Everybody needs a church somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Father, we thank you for the food that yes. we're about to receive for the strength and the nourishment of our bodies. Yes. God, we bless the hand that prepared the food on today. Yes. God, we pray that you bless it, sanctify it for your precious name. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You may be in church.